Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Monday, September 2nd, 2024, holiday edition here. As a happy Labor Day out there. Hopefully, you get some winners in your pocket as we're talking MLB and college football for the Monday slate. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are, what your college football picks are, guys. In the comments below, where you agree, where you disagree, all is welcome. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got afternoon action up first we're gonna go in uh time of first pitch or time of kickoff here guys so uh 4 10 eastern 110 pacific it's the la dodgers and the arizona diamondbacks battle between first place and second place in the nl west division we get rodriguez for the diamondbacks flarity for the dodgers commanding a minus 132 price tag as the uh road favorite eight and a hook being the total dodgers come in 27 games over 500 they are up two to one in this series this is game four the wraparound series here a little bit early start so the dodgers winning four of their last five games overall they're up against the diamondbacks here 77 and 60 on the season losing three of their last four now they get the 31 year old venezuelan rodriguez on the hill he's a guy that's only had four starts year to date the first three were decent last time out though the mets really got to him five earned and five innings now he's up against the Dodgers. Dodgers have smashed lefties. Number three lineup overall. They've been hot of recent. Kind of like the Dodgers in this spot, guys. Plus, they got Flaherty on the hill. 167 to 26 strikeout to walk ratio. That's one of the best you'll find. He also, in his previous stop, before he was a Dodger, remember he got traded, what, about four starts ago. Uh, he went six innings, two earned. A good start. Nine strikeouts against the Diamondbacks. So I think that's good pass performance. That was back in May. Overall, guys, I think the Dodgers, the 32 cents is short here. I think uh, they win game four, and we're starting off with Flaherty as our listed starter and the Dodgers over the Diamondbacks. Heading to the night slate up next, 6.50 Eastern time. Minnesota Twins, Tampa Bay Rays, Zach Littell on the hill for the Rays. Simeon Woods Richardson, minus 110 priced tag on the Twins, total of eight. Minnesota comes in 74 and 62. I don't love this spot for them, though. They just finished a nine game, three series homestand, finishing on Sunday. Now, traveling, playing, you know, uh, Labor Day here down in Tampa. They could work against them a little bit. They've also lost four of their last five road games. They're up against the Rays here. They stayed, they, they're off of a home. Uh, home series here, weekend series in Tropicana. So they're just staying home. And they got Latell on the hill. No more than one earned run in any of his last four starts, spanning 22 innings. He actually went up against the Twins last month, five innings, two earned. So good pass performance there. And Richardson, he here's the angle I really like, guys. His last time out, four earned runs four in four innings with three walks against the Braves. So not a great start. And his velocity was down two miles per hour. I love going against that with starting pitchers. So overall, guys, I like this kid, Littell. And the Rays have been a little bit underrated. And I think they are in this matchup as well. Plus 100, risk 100 to win 100. Hey, let's jump on the home dog in Tropicana. Rays over the Twins. Next one up, we're heading up to New York here. New York Mets hosting the Boston Red Sox. 7-10 Eastern time. Brian Bayo on the hill for the Sox. Luis Severino going for the Mets in the battle of Dominican-born pitchers here. We get Mets anywhere from minus 120 to minus 125 is the home favorite. Total of eight. Severino comes in. Hot start last time out, as is Bayo, the Red Sox starter. First up, Severino, seven innings, zero hits, zero earned, seven Ks against the Rangers. Brian Bayo in his last one, eight innings, two hits, zero earned, nine Ks against the Blue Jays. So both of these guys, great, great starts last time out. Severino now has, has his ERA just over three, 112 to 30 strikeout to walk ratio. I like Severino. We've been betting on him a bunch. They've won four straight. Uh, the Mets did. I think this is a good spot to jump on them, win winning the four straight and up against the Red Sox, who just lost two straight against the Detroit Tigers, only scoring one run in each of those games. This is uh, this has been a lineup that's been, actually been quite cold here. Talking about the Red Sox, I think there's a better chance Severino works his way through rather than Bayo up against uh, a Mets lineup that's really been pretty good 
all season long. So guys, let's list Luis Severino as the starter. Lay the 20 cents. It's the Metropolitans over the Red Sox. Got one game left. We're talking some college football here on the Labor Day holiday special. First up, a little promotion. 4% big bet going in MLB. 5-0 and oh, the last five. So you can check that out. Wagertalk.com. Also, last chance to get three weeks for the price of two. So 4%. MLB big bet going up five and oh last five. It's a game we did not touch on in this video. All right, let's talk a little college football guys heading to the sunshine state capital Tallahassee. It's Florida state hosting Boston college ACC conference game total of 50 FSU lands 16 and a hook as I'm talking the night before. First up, we got to talk about Florida state. Traveling back from Dublin to Ireland, where they kicked off the season against the Georgia Tech Ramblin' Wreck, and they really got beat on the line of scrimmage, in my opinion. I think I watched every play of that game. It was kind of surprising to see Georgia Tech get a push up front. Florida State defense actually allowed 190 rush yards, so just under 200 rush yards on the ground. And this is the angle that I think is going to work as a very important one in this matchup, and that's that Boston College has three potential NFL offensive linemen up front. So I think they're going to get a push as well, similar to Georgia Tech. And last year, this was a game, if you remember, it went right down to the end. First off, Florida State was a 25-point favorite, and they won 31-29. to BC was actually going for a two-point conversion at the end to push it into overtime. So the odds makers were way off, more than three touchdowns last time. I think they're off again. I, I think they're actually still giving Boston College a little bit too much respect. Now, it has moved a little um, since Florida State looks so bad in a nationally televised game. But this is still a BC team returning their starting quarterback, Tommy Castellanos, who had over 2,200 pass yards and over 1,100 rush yards. So he's an athlete that can make plays with his feet. It is a new system under head coach Bill O'Brien, but uh, hey, he's got a lot of experience and he's got a lot of returning production, BC does. So uh, hey, let's go with the Eagles, big dogs, plus 16 and a hook over the Florida State Seminoles. Guys, that's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond. In recap, we're on Boston College and college football. We got the Mets, minus 120 over the Red Sox. The Rays, plus 100 is the home dog over the Twins and the Dodgers, minus 132 with Flaherty on the hill over the Arizona Diamondbacks. That one's going early. So, guys, let me know in the comments below where you agree, where you disagree. All of your sports picks for today are welcome. Smash that like button. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back early tomorrow. Come back and join us. Until then, cash those tickets.